Welcome on in, everyone. Thanks for joining me once again today. Um, we continue our first ever Witcher 3 playthrough. And we're kind of getting down to it. We just did the whole battle preparations quest line. And uh, now, well, okay. Well, we're working on battle preparations, to be fair. Now we are told that we should perhaps be a little bit suspicious of Avalak. Basically, Yennefer and Ciri were like, What's the deal? Is he plotting something? And I had previously told Siri to be careful with his intentions, so I felt like it was a good idea to be like, yeah, that's valid. And now they're telling me to go snoop in the laboratory. We gotta go see what he's hiding, yeah? Let's go. So we are traveling to the island over here. But while we were on our way, we've encountered a side quest. What is this? What happened to your father? He was cutting wood, and a bear attacked him. Show me where it happened. Over here, past the trees. Uh, okay. I was about to say, is this suspicious? And then it shows well, me thug. Long, man, yeah. I kind of figured that work. sounded a little... <laughs> a little odd to me. Most kids would not be so eager to just run to any random person on the road for help, you know? Like it just, I don't know. Something was suspicious. Uh, entrance is very well protected. I believe we'll find something Hello interesting there. inside. How will you lift the barrier? Atlan Kirk's inclusion should do the trick. Remember the spell? I remember you teaching me. And to think I thought you an overbearing cold shrew at the time. Uh, now, now. This is no time to get soppy. An overbearing cold shrew. That's good. Um, yeah, so we've obviously, we've been romancing Yennefer. So... Any incriminating letters? Closets full of skeletons? We've not even opened the door yet. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try it. Yatta Ligon! We've awoken the sentry. I'll take oh. care of it. Here we go. I'm trying to get through the barrier. <laughs> Try open sesame. Maybe next time. I cannot deal with this audio bug again. I may need to restart the whole game here. Pretty cozy. Doesn't look much like a lab at all. That proves nothing. We must look around. It's a bit low, isn't it? Rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. No, that's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. Hmm, <laughs> really captured you. Sure, Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities. <laughs> Very funny. Huh. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, why not the scar? Look, Geralt. Look? Look at what? It seems someone was literally just here. Uh... Avalox on the ship? Doubt 
Shepard's an assistant. Avalak's on the ship. We know that. What if he's not? Stop. Hmm. A distillate? Smells like... Verbena. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha uh -huh what? No, nothing. Sometimes you really get on my nerves, what? you know. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait. We've not examined the entire laboratory yet. No, we've not. So, do we trust Avalok or not? I don't know. I don't know what I feel yet. I am... Um, I want to believe that he has good intentions, but I do believe that he's hiding stuff. My question is what and why. Coranther is undoubtedly the most skilled navigator I have ever had the chance to train. Yet his rash temper and his tendency to take foolish risks has called into question the possibility of ever using him for our purposes. I know Eredin is ready to put him through the trials now, which Coranther, in his pride, would surely take as a sign of trust and not indifference. The fate of his predecessor clearly was not warning enough for him, or perhaps he truly does have that much faith in his own powers. In light of the time I've devoted to him, I would like Coranther to succeed. Didn't know he had a sweet tooth. A sweet tooth? Okay, so I got everything over here, right? Yep. Feel like I've walked into somebody's bedroom. Personal. I mean, we are not supposed to be here. Gonna be her family tree? That's interesting. Genealogical chart of the Enhanikir, the Elder Blood, from uh -huh. Laura Doran. Ah. You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Oh, which one? Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalark has analyzed all the paths of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. Had enough of this? No, I have not. He's only analyzing? Really believe that? If he's anything like our mages, I seriously doubt he's standing back and observing how Lara's descendants are doing. I don't think we'll ever know if or how deeply the elves have meddled in the gene's mutation. Did you have a hand in... in what Geralt mentioned? The work of those human mages? Of course not. Uh... I'm not convinced. Let's look at his notes. Gods... We spent over two centuries on this. He was the first to study Lara's gene. Volker? Hmm. Some entries about Ciri. But it's here, later, that things get interesting. He actually tried to cultivate a genetic mix like Ciri's. But one excluding the human line. Meaning what exactly? Oh. That I ought to be looking about for giant jars holding my siblings? Don't be foolish. Avalach never got that far. Apparently all his experiments ended in failure. You are uh, unique. And that's why we've the wild hunt to contend with. Let's fare it on. See if we can't find something even more interesting. Neat. I'm sure Siri is loving all this. Can I talk Perhaps to her? Perhaps this was not a good idea after yeah. all. Oh no, Siri. Standard. Might have expected a hidden portal. Someone's there, beyond the door. Hmm. A 
Elves sure know their fragrances. How did you get in here? Uh, we, uh, who are you? We're the ones intruding, though, so, like, sorry. We mean you no harm. I care not at all why you're here. Get out. You. I remember you. From Tir Naliar. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? To spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. I'm gonna hear her out. Like what? He said you shed Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. But I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. Huh. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To Is have no yawning? choice but to use something like that? It's humiliating. Another word, and I'll- What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. Hmm, some jealousy, or... I don't he know. He hates me so deeply. Why didn't he tell me to my face? So, it sounds like he is that important to her? So I don't know if I want to say that, because, like, I think I know the answer to that. You didn't believe it. Come on, Siri, come on. Siri, you didn't actually believe her, did you? She's a yeah, she's jealous. personally okay. involved in the matter, that's clear. Uh -huh. What of it? If they despise me so, they should leave me be. Siri, think for a moment about that there uh oh there were some drawings of her and all like uh siri what do you fear i'll level this place like i did care Morn? shame i can't do that at will because i'd really like to now <laughs> fair enough go crazy What am I telling her to do? I tell her to just go crazy? Destroy the place? What are we what are we doing? What are we doing? It's are we are we gonna start smashing? Yep. We're gonna start smashing. Oh, we're gonna start smashing. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, screw you and your stuff. Avalon. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Guys, have you always wanted to just, like, destroy a room like that? 
Jennifer's like, okay. Telling anyone to calm down in any of these games I'm playing has not ever been working out, so we're done with that. Smash it. Come on, Yennefer. Oh, is he gonna be watching us? Can he see this? I wonder. I didn't like the portrait. I didn't like that. Oh. There, that's better. Let's get out of here. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I like her active rebellion. <laughs> can I? Can I take the portrait? Can I take it? No, we gotta leave it. We gotta leave it so he can see it. <laughs> okay, that makes me happy. Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindisfjall. In Lofoten. I met a young man, Skjall. And I'd like... What is it? Siri. Skjall is dead. The Wild Hunt. Oh... Everyone? No one survived? Skjall died later. You're sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw we his body. Met. Him. Will you visit his grave with me? I'd like to. to say goodbye. Oh. Uh, okay. I'll go with you. Thank you. Could you open a portal to Hindisfjall? I can. Did we. Do this. Did we bury him or uh we did we did use necromancy on him. I don't know what this is uh, let's see. Let's do this. Come back soon, alright? Mm -hmm. See you. Let's look around. Should be a relatively fresh grave mound. Thank you for coming. I detest graveyards, especially wandering them alone. Let's look together. Let's look around together. Come on. Lasse, son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Inga, daughter of Chortnir. Damn it. He's not here. Skjall has no grave. Geralt, I shan't leave until I bury him. Think. The body. What could have become of it? They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> bastards. What? Beyond the village. There's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night. Uh. Okay, all right, here we go.
know if it's exactly an inconsistency. It's like, you know, but I, I guess... I do wish that you maybe had an option to say something, what are you doing? right? What you should have done long ago. But we ago. don't know... We're burying Skia. What ended up with his body. We Craven. didn't bury him ourselves. You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defy our laws. No. We're not bound by them. Aye, and you've clearly no respect for our customs either. Craven's place is in the ditch. <laughs> Skjall saved your bloody lives. The wild hunt was after me. Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofferton to ash? What would the spectres be wanting of some lass who... I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Hey, none will disturb it. Desecrating graves, well, it's the only thing elders punish harder than fleeing the battlefield. And what you said, can't know the truth of it. The gods will judge Skjall now. We were right to come. I was deeply troubled. You've no idea. Well, they shouldn't spit on his name anymore. Let's go. <laughs> oh, her little smile. Oof. I guess we were just kind of here to support Siri and let her figure it out on her own, I suppose, you know? Hmm. Back to the boat. Hmm. R.I.P. Scal. Yeah, did not call him Craven, no. Okay. The time now? Like, are both of these in, like, the same place? I feel like I should go craft that armor first. But I don't think we can in this region. Only in Novigrad. All right, let's go back real fast. Let's just, let's just do it. Oh. <clears throat> we'll go back like to the area with the Baron. See from afar, you. Okay, over here real quick. Got ah. eyes like a cat. Catch mice too. You catch mice too. Geralt, good of you to come by. What can I do for you? No, they don't pay enough for mice. Um. Need some more. So. A few moments later. All right. So, I think that was all that I really wanted to do around here. Like, there's more Gwent tournaments and things, but I, I think we have some time for that as we go. There's some other contracts. This is a level 35 contract. Should we go do that real fast? Technically, that contract's actually even a higher level than this. I could talk to the Redanian officer. But, like, I also don't know if I want to go start, like, this right now. This seems like a whole thing, so maybe I do want to go do this. Yeah, I think some Witcher contracts might be the way to go for a second. I'm like, I don't know if I immediately want to go do that. That's, like, a whole... whole thing. What are these? Heroes Pursuits. Hmm. And then what is this? Lord of the Wood? Professional Monster Slayer. That sounds like more what I want to do right now. And that's right over here. Perfect. Um, I haven't been to this place. Hello. Devil's dick, every man jack of you. Welcome. Welcome. Good evening. Perhaps some Gwent? 
Wait, I should buy his cards first. It's fine though. Up for a few rounds of Gwent? Best swapped out for Vesemir. Sorry, Bess. <laughs> we have some pretty good cards. Pretty neat. We just need better leader cards. Ooh, show me your favorite emotes, guys. Cast a spell. Speak in pictures. What deck? I likely don't need this then. I'm gonna swap that out. I have two of those, perfect. Zoltan, I could swap. Let's see, what do we get? Eh, sure. Bought this a while ago, still haven't played it. That was me, I played 30 minutes of this in 2019 and then never played it again until now, so. <laughs> Highly recommend. A decoy in or what? Yes. We got this. Another spy. Spies on spies. Just keep playing cards. They just keep laying them down. Oh my goodness! Toss a coin to your Witcher! I'm just gonna take back that card. <laughs> and just keep playing spies. And I'm just gonna keep getting more cards. Yeah, they decided to give up, which is fair. Think we have enough cards? <laughs> uh, ooh, happy new year. Um, I need to consider if I want to win this round, which I probably do. Do I want to win this round? I feel like I might as well just kind of take it. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Oops. It'd just be kind of different. Like, I can just throw these two cards down. Let's see what happens. that extra card why not we have a lot of these that stack pretty neat so I theoretically don't care about this round theoretically this is just the round to draw out more cards So, theoretically, I want to leave some of my melee stuff together because we have Dandelion. So, I could start with the archers, maybe? Oh, this guy down there. Why play the hero cards that are immune from Scorch on a dead board? Um... I mean, fair. It's just kind of easiest sometimes. I don't know. I don't consider them as much just because, like, I can't, like, I can't medic them. I can't decoy them or anything. So, like, that's fair, though. Let's 
So throw this one down here. We have another decoy also, which is interesting. Okay, he used Scorch. Cool. That was kind of an ideal place to use that. Now I'm going to be waiting for them to play Scorch. Or no, I'm going to be waiting to play Scorch on them is what I'm trying to say. I'm wondering then if I want to even put these down. I don't want to stack these yet if I want to maybe use Scorch. But also I don't know if I want to use Scorch on this round. This round I'm just trying to get him to, to waste some cards. So I'm just gonna throw this down. down. Some rain, huh? Hmm. It's like I could keep going. I could also just play the clear weather card. I wouldn't have it later. It's unlikely that he has another weather card, but he definitely could. Definitely could. I just kind of, kind of wouldn't mind... I don't know. Like, having the... This is where I just let him go. Okay. Good job. plays anything. Okay. Huh. Ideally, they play Okay, okay, so what I could do here... I could decoy, grab this card, scorch, and then play the card again. I don't know, I kind of might as well, I'm just kind of trying to waste this card, so, sure. Nice, ideal, ideal. Get wrecked. And that's why we keep our weather card, our clear weather card, for now. Because now we will have that, right? Yes. That's a random place to, to use that. Um, but I think I think we win here, you know? So we're gonna go zwoop de zwoop. Beautiful sunny day. Well, I think we had enough cards, you guys. I think I think it was enough. 
Yeah, Tris, why did they make her hero card, like, fewer points? It was kind of rude of them. Welcome. What have you got there? More Gwent cards? Yes. What are you selling here? So long. Alright, what was I doing? Contract. Yeah, that's right. Welcome, Master Witcher. Gwent? Saw the notice. Let's say I'm interested. That's good. Grand even. Name's Breen Hotch. I posted that slip. Gonna need details. Course, course. Well, through a series of regrettable events, I came to own a spread of forest ripe for logging, near Novigrad. At a distance from any roads, but quite near the port. Easy gold, right? Just hire some lumberjacks and count the coin. Meant details about the monster, not your business. Oh, it's all links, see? I took on some dwarven loggers, but they came to me, claiming the forest haunted. Thought them lazy, nothing more. Then one day, they went in the wood, and only one returned. Said some forest devil had attacked them. Pay up, or...? Let's talk about my pay, because the current offer's just not enough. Very well. Let us say that's a price I'll pay willingly. Woo! I'll take the job. This logger, where'll I find him? Around. Last Around. I saw him, nice. he was drinking away his pay. Said he had to honor his dead comrades. True. Will you go to the bathroom? Eh? Little snakes Got a snake's tongue as well. What are you guys all drinking tonight? Have some water at the moment. I had some tea earlier. Ah. Oh. I think Christmas time I'll have something a little stronger. Novigrad. Welcome, travel. Maybe tomorrow too. Drink with me, you cocksucker. Fuck a knock back if you so as my mates are race peaceful. Something plowed them up good, but I don't know what it was. Don't know who or what to cuss. Talk to one Breen Hotch. Told me all about your comrade's death. No liquor. We tried to explain some horror was prowling in the forest. He refused to believe it. Well, do my best to help out. He's hired me. Wants me to find the beast that attacked you and your friends. Is that so? Well, I take back what he said. Good man, Breen. <laughs> though a halfling. Tell me about the attack. What do you remember? <sighs> we were making our way out of the forest. Loaded with wood like pack horses. All of a sudden we heard a bloody howl. Like a wolf's. Pack leaders. We legged it, but then the cartwheel was stuck. Magnus Rector hollered they should run to the hut for the crossbows. So I ran. Come back to the woods. Bloody plow and massacre. Couldn't tell me mates apart. Thanks. Really helpful. That. Really helpful. Kill the bugger. Will you? He's like, whatever, just kill him. Right, lads. Oh, God. 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 The Reapers come for me. I am so Don't believe, don't believe. It's not 10 a.m. for you, oh, fair enough. <laughs> hey, it's 2 in the morning for me. Alright. Yeah, during medieval times, right, a lot of times they drink beer, ale, mead, wine. Because, uh, at least, yeah, they knew that would be safe after fermenting so long. Not necessarily the water. I mean, you get a lot of your hydration through food anyways, but, um, definitely not all of it. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. How far into the main quest? We've been making amazing progress. We are now at the point where we need to go rescue Fringilla Vigo from the Emperor's ship, I believe. The battle preparations quest. Getting the Lodge of Sorceresses back together. And now Philippa is talking about, like, having me take Yennefer away so she can have all the power. I don't know about that. We'll see. I don't know exactly what Yennefer wants with the Emperor, though, specifically, so... We will see. Logger's hut. Need to find the spot where they died. Deep ruts. Logger's wagon must have stopped here. Then they went down this road. 
Probably towards their clearing. Tracks. Let's go. Still arguing about skill. <laughs> yeah, what's with the creepy vibes? The music? Uh... What kind of monster? There's a wagon. Thank you. Come on. What are those? There was a fight here. Two dwarves and something big. There was a fight here. Two dwarves and something big. Wounded dwarf tried to flee, bleeding heavily. That's good. Clawed the rock. Must have been angry and strong. Creepy. Creepy, creepy. The dwarf went this way. The dwarf went this way. So. Uh oh. Deep wound on his uh -oh. back. Bled to death. Uh, okay. Gonna go find everyone. Here we go. There's another. Roots pinned this one to the ground. Roots. So hardy suffocated. Everything says Leshen. A young oh. one. Must have arrived here recently. Need to find its totem. Crows serve Leshens. Should find some near the totem. Crows. Ooh, crows. Not a Leshen's words. False trail. How late do I stay up? Mm. Too late. Ordinary ravens looks like. No sign of a totem. Oh and behold, a Leshen's totem. Now, to destroy it. Ought to piss it off, make it leave its lair. Be gone! I wish I knew how to cast Ard, like myself. That would be super sweet. How terrifying would that be, though, if you just saw that in the woods? Mm -mm. Nope. Was I supposed to read something? Like, I don't know. Um, there we go. Let's do this quickly. Okay, we got it. 
I love that bleeding effect. You can make a surprising amount of things bleed. Cool. Come on, let me loot. back this way we're kind of preparing to like end the game very soon I don't know I feel like we'll have a better indication tomorrow of how close we are today ending the main story not the whole game but like the main story and then it's the best not cause any trouble at the end welcome master witcher I killed the leshen that attacked the lumberjacks oh that's wonderful grand even I'll have to find some new loggers, but there's no shortage of folk looking for work. But can I be certain no other lesson will show? I mean... It's possible, I suppose. I have to find a witcher if it happens. Aye, yes, yes. Well, your due reward. I'm not the kind not to pay for a job well done. Why, thank you. Farewell. Oh, yeah, which sign would be most useful in your life? I mean, yeah, Axie would be pretty crazy be pretty powerful. Then you would have a lot of people oh, saying, Witch! Witch! As they say, a witch! A witch! must be a quick talk. Your kind spreads disease. Defeatism and desertion. Geralt getting tripped up on the stairs. Hmm. Hello. Here to talk about the contract. Contract? Ah, yes. Put my mark to something of the sort. Seems a creature's attacking lonely passers-by, abandoning their corpses in gutters around Oxenfurt. Isn't that something you should look into? Perhaps, but we've a plough in war to win. Like, yeah, I've got maybe. the time to clean gutters. <laughs> Let's talk about the reward. Acquit yourself well and you'll not be disappointed. Redanian army's no band of scruffs. We can afford to hire a witcher. You can afford it, can you? <laughs> I've never asked for such a big increase. Is he gonna get mad? I see yeah. you've taken a more reasonable tack. We're finally getting somewhere, but it's still too much. All right. 310? Very well. That I can pay with a clear conscience. Fine. I'll take the job. Need to hear some details. You'll learn everything I know. Like to examine the victim's bodies. A corpse is a corpse. I see the wounds. Might be able to tell what kind of monster killed them. Ask our sawbones. He'll know if the corpses have been burned or not. You'll most likely find him in the hut on the riverbank. Our impromptu morgue. Have you guys gotten them to pay like the max amount or anything? Like, <laughs> I wonder what the max amount you can get from him is. Any witnesses to these attacks? Anyone see the beast? Some woman survived an attack. They say she's not been sober since. I'd try the tavern in Oxenfurt if you're willing to try talking to her. Won't give me any trouble with the reward, will you? Nah, I want this out of my hair. Well, let's go talk. It seems like, uh... How many murders and murder quests have we investigated in this city now? And it's been quite a few. Oh. Will you buy a round for a victim of the beast? Sure. Cheers. Tell me about the monster. How you were attacked. I'd need another bottle to get through it. It's certainly nicer if we just pay the coin. I'm just trying to think, like, what's better for her? Like, I don't know, but she also, she can do what's best. Um, 
I mean, she did survive like a whole attack. But yeah, I think I think I'm just gonna pay. See, I'd rather you stayed sober while we talked. Bought yourself that bottle later. Have it your way. Okay, okay. I was leaving the inn that night. Might have had a drink or five. Yeah, one five. I'm sure I wasn't five. hallucinating. Something down an alley called my name. It was dark. I couldn't see what it was, but it wasn't no human. Of that I'm certain. What makes you so sure? I just know. This thing grabbed the enemy skirt, but I broke free and ran. That it? You didn't see much. Don't believe me either, do you? Fuck you! Fuck you all! Good job, girl. Good job. Here's the door. Okay. Not where, is, not where I was expecting it to. Give us a crown. The bracelet. Pretty worn. Silver under the gilding. Too big for a woman's wrist. Attacker lost it, most likely. Oh. Hello there, medic. You the medic? I'd like to see the monster's victims. Oh, yes. I've not had them burned yet. Must get to that. You done autopsies yet? Intend to? Why would I? Beggars and vagrants. Every last one stinking of cheap wine. Mind if I have a look? In point of fact, I'd prefer you didn't sniff around. So Gonna suspicious. make me come back with a written order? Good grief. Pushy, aren't we? Here, yeah. the key to the morgue. Look all you want. Weird. He was drunk. Someone dragged him over the cobblestones. Fang marks on his neck. Vampire sucked his blood. Vampire, huh? Vampire, okay. Vampire bites in the strong stench Meat. of alcohol. Just like the other so one. I'm assuming that's Fountains vampire. for jewelry, wounds on the victim's bodies. Everything suggests a catacan. Except this vampire likes the blood of drunkards. Hmm. That's the way to lure it out. Is this yes. what I want to know? I'm all ears. You missed the obvious signs of a vampire attack? Come on. Okay. Can do. Well, we don't hello. Serve flushes, shavers, caretakers, or students from Philosopher's Hall. Do I look like a. Understood. Um, any of the people from that list? Doesn't hurt to check, just so it's clear how things stand. So what did they do to you, the students from? Rather not talk on it. Just All right. Just put up a sign. What's your poison? No. Got to say it personally. Some Gwent, perhaps. You play Gwent? Not with just anybody, and always for high stakes. With you, I might. Come on. I'll play on your terms. Come on. We are good to go. What? That's the first time that's happened. Our leaders cancel each other? Huh? What does that mean? What is his leader? That's new. Never happened before. Okay. I don't love the deck that we got. It's super okay. Like, it's all right, you know? That made very little difference. Okay, whatever. We at least have one spy to start with. No decoy. We got another spy. Cool. I was hoping so. So, what's the deal with his leader card? Yeah, uh... 
cancel your opponent's leader ability. Well, that's rude. It's kind of interesting, though. Game has been great. Welcome. Wonder if the Wild Hunt plays Gwent. You guys think I can get Aridin's card that I know he for sure has before we kill him? Can I play Aridin and Gwent first? <laughs> uh. So we got a decoy. Interesting stuff. And another spy. Neat. Another decoy, huh? I got him to use like a lot of cards. I think I pass. Like I could put down enough cards, but I don't I don't really see a need to do that. I'm gonna pass. Okay. Yennefer's card. How do I get that one? Maybe he won't get it to me. Like, why do you have Yen first card? I will take that, thank you. He just wants to keep giving me more. I'll take more cards. I'll take some more cards. Decoy that? Oh, jeez. Okay. Um. Whatever. I wish we had Scorch. You know, it's just kind of going how it's going, so we're rolling with it. Oh, we just keep going. Oh, we just keep hitting the spies on each other. Oh, we just keep, keep on doing it. We have nothing in our discard pile, so I should save that medic for the third round for some of those spies there. Um, okay, what the hell do I do? Um, <laughs> let's... Okay, so I need to consider um, when I'm playing, I don't have my leader card ability. This is an interesting round. Ideally, we break it up a little bit here. But, you know... Go crazy. Yeah, I only had one spy on the initial draw. Now I've played six. There. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I was worried about. That is the exact thing that I was worried about right there. So that's okay. That's why I kind of wanted to bait that out. Tough having so many cards in play. Oh, and then they pass. Okay. Weird move. But okay. Sh 
sure. Scorch, huh? Yeah, I'm worried about more weather cards. I'm worried. I don't know if I need to use this yet, but I'm going to. Don't always have a ton of opportunities to use that. Let's medic a spy. Gonna be quite a round of went. Um, so we have this. I don't know if I want to use that or not. I don't know. Only if he ends up with a lot more melee than I do. Yeah, so rain. I'm wondering if I should just play my weather card at that point and try to get him to like use clear weather or just try to like get him really tripped up. See what happens, right? Like, I don't know, is that a terrible idea? I just feel like, I, like, I don't have a clear weather card now because he, he canceled my leader ability, so. We just kind of have to work with this. I don't know. I don't know if that's the move yet. I don't start there. I don't start there. Hmm. I wish I had more decoys right now. gonna use fighting frost okay huh I could have kept it but I, I feel like it's more useful this way right now uh geez it's really not like ideal, but it's okay. How'd I use the frost? Because I wanted to bait out another card from him. They only put down a two. <sighs> okay, it's okay. Yeah, use the heroes. I'm thinking it's about time for them, huh? Get him to play some bigger cards. Come on. I 
I'm assuming we're gonna win this, but I, I don't know. I do not know for sure. this opposing deck all that well. I don't know how to play against the Nilf Guardian deck particularly amazingly. Go ahead and put that there. This worries me how many spies he's had. I just don't let, he's had too many decoys. Too many decoys in that deck. Too many. Oh, we are coming down to it. Let's see, what's going to be a bigger doubling of the points? I think this one up top, even though I know that there's that 10 there, I think this will still be worth more. Oh wait, 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 no, 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 because Dandelion's here. One per row, never mind. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> They passed. Oh, so they had a weather card or something that was not going to be good. Hey, look at us go. Woo! That was a tough game. I don't like losing, but that don't mean I don't do it with grace. The card and the prize are yours. You've been playing a while. Gotta know where I can find some interesting cards. In Novigrad, there's Oliver the Innkeeper. He plays, though he's far beneath my level. Closer, in Velen, there's the barkeep at the inn at the crossroads. Oh yeah, not why we're here. <laughs> oh, I remember you. What'll it be? I'm sure you do remember us. We kicked your butt. Wanna get drunk off my ass, and it's gotta be on cheap wine. Trouble with the lass. Or did your enterprise go under? <laughs> Neither. Just part of the job. I'll need you to pay in advance. Fine. More. And keep it coming. <laughs> oh, we had a lot to drink, huh? Oh boy, poor Geralt, stumbling around all alone. Once was a maid from Vico, Varro. Tight at night, she'd be loose come morrow. Early in the morning. Early. Another maid from Vico, Varro. Plowed with pleasure, drank with sorrow, till early in the morning. I can didn't hear it. I'll try another verse. Where's this side of the Ponta? Okay, more this way, more this way. Casey, great to have you. Welcome, welcome everyone. Yeah, I played through Red Dead too. Yes, similar vibes. Totally. With some of the the, the uh, drinking missions. Come on, Geralt, give me another one. Our third maid was not a brandy. Gave it up to any man standing oh. her lion. Of this. Such rudeness and vulgarity, young people these days. All right, all right. Sheesh. <laughs> I sense your blood. Come out and fight, bitch. That's... I 
need that I shall drink your blood. Come on, cut the shit. Here I am. In here? In the barber shop? Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, not the, oh. Not the barber shop. Drunk fighting. Oh. Geralt. Geralt dodge. Geralt dodge. Where's that damned cat again? I can hear it. Run, Geralt! Go! It's going to the hut by the river. We go. We go. What? Gotcha. Back we go. Witches should only own black cats. Mm, I think witches should own as many cats as possible. Moonshadow, she's like mostly black cat, but she's a calico cat. She had some beautiful markings when I went to the pound the first time. I was like, oh my. Miss Moonshadow, you are coming with me. And then now I have two other goobers too. <laughs> now there's three. Hmm. Killed the monster that was murdering folk. Turns out a catacan was prowling the city. You speak true. But what on earth's a catacan? Like what? A higher vampire. Particularly interesting case, this one. How the hell could a foul beast be interesting? This one liked alcohol. Had a hugely inflated ego, too. What matters is you snuffed it out. Like, what? Juice okay. and praise for that, Witcher. So long. Look at us leveling up like crazy. Okay. Ooh. Come on, game. Okay, let's do like maybe one last Witcher contract before we get ourselves like kind of back on track, essentially. I kind of wanted to keep going with this, but I'm like, I don't think I should start something new that's like this big of a deal right now at like three in the morning. So let's do one last contract. There's that one. We could do the level 35. Yeah, that's not too far. Let's go run over there. We can just run that way. Honor in the fatherland. Halt! Where you think you're going? Why do you even care? You're in a military operation zone. And our job's to collect the war tax. Look more like you're collecting for a round of vodka to me. I wonder I do. Will you be that cheeky when we accuse you of spying? Now shut your trap and pay. Um... I'm just trying to leave the city. No. Not about to give you a copper. Told you he was a spy. We're gonna arrest you in the name of good King Radovid. Mm. You can always try. What's going on here? Reporting the capture of a suspicious individual, sir. A spy. A witch would make as good a spy as you'd make a chaperone. 
I catch you extorting <laughs> coin again, you'll go straight to the front. The Eastern Front. And you, Witcher, best give these parts a wide berth. Thanks. Farewell. Watch your step. They're like, please don't come back. Thank you. The Witcher, oh, step over here. Hello. You post the notice? I did indeed. Hands of Sidaris, mercenary captain. Know of a monster that needs slaying. You interested? What kind of monster? What kind of monster are we talking about? If only I knew. It was like this. Got rid of it to hire me and my company, but he's been late with the pay the last weeks. And I'll be damned if we're to risk our lives for free, like hell. Couldn't agree more. But you were gonna tell me about the monster. Yes, yes. We arrived here, encamped. Then it turned out some beast prowls the area. Snatchers cows and the like. Reckoned we should help the local boys, so we grabbed our weapons and set out. Me and Kurt one way, Gerd and Hank the other. Gerd and Hank never returned. Whatever it was, it got him. Jobs for a I'll professional, help. clearly. So Kurt and me, we chipped in for a small reward, hoping someone's willing to help the locals avenge our comrades in the process. Awfully noble of you. Yeah. Mercenaries, we've our honor too. Well, Master Witcher, what will it be? Will you take the job? Let's talk about the reward. About how it's just not enough right now. I'd have gone to hunt the beast myself if I'd known you wanted this much. Hard luck, so be it. Okay. All right. Where do I start looking? South of here. It's where we split up. It's where we last saw Gerd and Henk alive. Winds howling. Zoop. Claw marks, bite marks, armor ripped to shreds. Looking good. Human, no sign of another corpse. To... Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Flying monster. Gripped the second body in its claws. Didn't quite get everything to its nest. Crumbs of flesh? Tracks flesh end here. Damn birds must have picked the ground clean. But they've already found the rest of the corpse, probably. All I gotta do is follow the coin. There they are. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, everyone. An arch griffin. Oh. Okay, Geralt, we good? Okay, I'm just trying to get control here. Game, we good? Am I healing at all? I should be. Okay, what's happening here? Oh. She's be behaving kind of 
weird. really nice. Roach is as good as Arvac? Yes. Run, Roach. Arvac is amazing in Skyrim. <laughs> Wait, wasn't there, was there a nest back here? Was there other loot? Hang on. Maybe not. Doesn't really look like Move it. it. Trader Bows, good to see ya. Check the griffin nest. Where is that? Is that gonna be this? Maybe? I just I don't see a nest. Not the right way. I don't see anything. Weird. The rocks? Is it this? Is there something up here? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, there is. Oh, it doesn't have an icon, though. Mercenary contract? Dear Master Hans of Sedaris, I've decided to accept your condition that the fee for the beast's demise be paid in advance. The reward you demand, however, six full purses of crowns, continues to seem quite excessive to me. The three I have included with this missive should more than suffice for you and your crew. Note that I expect a quick and final resolution to this monster problem. Should you determine that you are not up to the task, I expect you to return every last copper of the advance I enclose, under penalty of flogging and imprisonment, and to immediately leave the area. Well, well. They took on this contract before I did. Got the reward up front. More than they're paying me. Uh-oh. Hmm. Radovid was late for our pay a whole week. Watch it, Crayhead. Well, any progress? Monster's dead. I slew it. It was a griffin. An arch-griffin, in fact. In that case, I'm grateful. Arch grateful. Your reward. Arch grateful. Thank you. Yes. Uh, if you are arch grateful. Hold up a minute. Recognize this? You accepted a contract. Reward paid up front and higher than what you paid me. What am I meant to do? Business is what it is, and intermediaries deserve their due. What you do is a punch in the face. Gold. Now. What's he gonna do? Say so no? Nice before you go. Don't ever try to cheat a witcher again. Ever. It's worse it gets. Radovid was late with our pay a whole week. Hey, we got almost 500 for that. Not bad. The purse I got was full of counterfeit crowns. Okay, guys. I think. What do we want to do? We gotta do maybe one one last mission, and we call it for tomorrow. Because I I really want to just go start all of this, but I don't want to start it like right now. It's it's a little late in the evening here, or early in the morning, I suppose. <laughs> so. Run with just a lick of gold on it. Must be Honorton, village from the notice. Except, it's awful. Necrophages, great. Oh. Ugly bastard. Oh, didn't even need the XP. 
extra little damage on that one. Oop. Not a living soul in sight. Something evil's been here. Necro finishers appeared after him. Sword wounds. Huh. Fire still burning. This happened recently. Hmm. Somebody's well off. Intensity. Especially for Velen. Yeah, this is not what I would expect for this house. A Russian said. Chopped off with a sharp knife. Well, well. Somebody beat me to it. Okay. Weird. Oh. Got sliced open. Probably died defending its owner. First cut severed the aorta, second hit the femoral artery. He died quickly, didn't put up a fight. Blade pierced her back between vertebrae, severed her spinal cord. She couldn't move, bled to death. to get this one last house. Pitchfork. Dangerous weapon at close quarters. Pitchfork. Dangerous okay, weapon yeah, on the right of the elbow. With one blow. One. Imperial mustache. Plump cheeks. Important man. Cause of death. Stab wound. Blade between the ribs, straight to the heart. Holding something. Silver chain. Snapped. Ripped it off someone. Shit. Stop. Is that... Huh? A kid? A doll. And a child's footprints. Weird. First doll, or what? Other. Smart. Okay. Uh huh. Gotcha. Don't worry. Oh. I'm not going to hurt you. Calm down. Just want to talk to you. Explain the other Lashen, or the Lashen that we found that was dead. Weird. Um, same as who? Same as. Same as him! The bad man who killed everyone! Did he have two swords on his back? Not telling you nothing! Go away! Found your doll. Huh. <laughs> Could use Axie, but doll come yours, on. Maybe? Give us a doll. Titties? He got a name? Master Freckleface. Oh. <laughs> Pretty. G give him to me. Please. Master Freckleface. Ooh, first tell me what happened, or of course here. I could use it as a bargaining chip. But I'm also tempted if it will, will, like, establish some trust if I just give it back. I'm gonna try to just give it back. 
Let me see if I regret this. Doubt Master Freckleface would be much help on the path, so... Here. Trust? Now, think you could tell me what happened here? I need to know. Oh, Woods. They was haunted. Some spook. Uncle Silvermere said we best fetch a richer. So one came. Look, looks like you. But... There were evil in his eyes. He bore the spook's headset. Uncle Silvermere will nap about something. They yelled and they cursed. And then he went to the barn and... and... <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah. Shh, shh, shh. Think I know the rest. He let me go. Yeah, we don't need details. I don't know why. And then, he went that way. Towards the circle where we leave gifts for the gods. I hid in the barn. Found this lion in the A. School of the cat. Thanks. Oh. You've been a big help. What'll you do? Got any family around here? Lives in Orton. I'll take you to her. But first I gotta see to this bad man. Stay put and keep quiet. Understood? Sit tight, kid. If he went off towards the circle, that'd be the place to start. Who is this gonna be? Let's go see. The stone circle. Need to look around. Footprints. Barely visible. Must be him. A fellow Witcher. Well, well. Small world. Yeah, what was going on in that place, huh? You lost something. Do you have an explanation, or...? <laughs> Come all that way to give me my medallion? Thanks. Craft Solidarity is alive and well. Uh -huh. <laughs> but our craft's reputation is on its last legs. Folk won't easily forget that massacre. <sighs> Occupational hazard. Could have happened to any one of us. Huh? Well, what, what do you mean occupational ha hazard? Uh, yeah, I don't. What do you mean? Was something going on there? Did you were they all sick with the plague that was going to end the world? Like what what? Give me the spiel. I want to chat first, then we'll see. Take your seat. I'll stand. Now talk. Honorton, what happened? Come on. You know what happened. Know what they wanted to pay me for the lesson? Go on, guess. Fifty? Fifty. Ha <laughs> ha, if only. Twelve. Understand, pal? Twelve fucking crowns. Barely covers my potion ingredients. What did you agree to? That several times over. But when it came time to pay up... You know the routine. Oh, good sir, me young'uns are starving. There's a war on. Gods have mercy. Show some pity. Rings a bell, but that's no reason to kill. I'm not finished. Okay. Do you go I told on? Told them I wouldn't show pity. And if I didn't see gold, they'd wish they had the lesson back. They got these grim looks. Then the alderman spoke. Calm now, Master Witcher. Me and the lads, we hid some gold uh, in the barn so uh -oh. the Baron's men wouldn't take it. Oh. Come. You'll get your coin right quick. Oh. I fell for it. Like a fool. Geralt does say never One cheat of a witcher. One chattered on while another jabbed me in the back with a pitchfork. Uh, you slaughtered every last one, though? What's, what's with that? So you decided to massacre the whole village. What would you have done? Gone to the local magistrate to file a complaint? Ooh. I admit, I lost my temper. 
Lost it bad. I'm used to shit bounties, to the cheating, to them begging me for help and then spitting as I pass. But murder me? Just to save a few crowns? I'm supposed to protect horses like that? That's fair. So I drew steel and didn't sheathe it till the ground was slick with blood. The girl. Why'd you spare her? Cause... Uh, it doesn't matter. Wouldn't have asked if it didn't... talk. <sighs> Reminded me of my sister. How I remember her from... Just before they took me away to the school of the cat. How is she now? Died about Bad ten years ago. Of old age. Well... Well, we've had our little heart-to-heart, -heart, witcher to witcher. What now? Yeah, lots of innocents did die. Like, I, I get it. Go t to kill the people that are trying to murder you. Like, fair enough. Like, you know. Especially in this kind of place. Uh, but, like... Everyone, though? But, like, do I need to kill him? He did recognize that he lost his temper. I don't know what the answer is here. Like, do I kill this guy to, like, try to right the wrongs, you know? Like, right, Geralt would have defended himself, not murdered the whole village. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I, I think that's not something that Geralt would tolerate. They died. A lot of innocents died in that village. Yeah, they did. My fucking bad. Got carried away. Not the first time either, right? Wanna kill me, Wolf? Fine. Draw it's your not blade. A no. But don't force me to confess. Ah, jeez. He doesn't sound that remorseful about it. Prepare to fight. Stand and fight. <sighs> wow. So that chat, what the hell was the point? I give folk a chance to defend themselves, unlike you. Oh, damn. Hmm. Awful chivalrous. A regular defender of the downtrodden. <laughs> so mind if I have a dose of swallow? Come on. I'm I don't injured. know if I'm doing the right choice. I, I don't know. Fine. Drink. Much appreciated. Behold, a witcher with honor. What's he gonna do? And no brains! What? 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 There he goes. Ha. Bleeding out. The soil I light upon you. Should get back to the kid before something else sniffs her out. Oh, I don't know if I should have killed him or not. I don't know. That's a tough one, but I I felt like I couldn't take the chance that he was gonna do it again. I felt like I couldn't. I don't know. Gosh, maybe I should have kept him alive. I don't know, I'm really torn about that one. Ah, uh, fighting, killing with more killing. Like, ugh, the dilemma. You're back! I thought, thought you'd not return. That he'd hurt you too. I'm fine. And he won't hurt anyone ever again. So, so you'll take me to my auntie's? It's, it's awful here. In a bit. Come on, let's go. <laughs> sure thing. Let's go. Think I could ride on your shoulders? Oh. Do you see the spikes on my shoulders? <laughs> so long as you promise not to pull my hair. Oh. Promise. Then hop on up.
Oh, I wish I could see that. Auntie, Auntie Lucy! Millie, what are you doing here, you naughty girl? I, cause, back in the village, there's no... I'll explain. You run along and play a bit, all right? She's like, oh. There was a massacre in Honorton. No survivors. Well, except her. The gods. What happened? A bandit attack? Uh, I'm not gonna say another witcher. Yeah, I'm gonna blame it on the monster. A monster killed them. Leshen. They'd posted a contract, but I arrived too late. It was a lovely village. Good folk lived there, good and true. Oh, it is tragic. Tragic indeed. You'll look after her? Truth be told, you'd do better to take her with you. Funny. What? Used to be folk were afraid we'd take their kids. She's Used like, you to be honor? folk weren't so in need. Got four of my own grandkids. Used to be six, but we buried two last winter. Oh, okay. Hard to live off naught but bark soup. Need some money or? Times are tough. Good luck. Here's some coin. I'll take this. Use it for food and only food. If I come back and see you drinking. So much. The gods reward ye, Master Witcher, a thousand blessings. The girl might tell the truth. I mean, that's fair. I don't know if she's going to talk Time much about I that, though. I was on my way. No? But, but why? Witcher's lot in life. Always on the road. On the path. Will you come back and see me sometime? Hope so. Take care, kid. Oh, Millie! Come, child. We'll buy a bit of flour. Your aunt will whip up some pancakes. Sound good to ye? Oh. Well. Yay? Question mark? I suppose. Hooray. Oh, this game does not. It's not have the good choice or the bad choice, does it? Well, I mean, sometimes it does, but it's very hard to tell which one it is, and... Here's the thing. I don't... I will never say that I'm gonna make all of the, the best choices, but I will make some interesting ones. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, guys. So, we are nicely set up for tomorrow. We go pick up Fringilla. We've done most all of our Witcher contracts. These are the only ones that are left. Look at that. They all fit on a single a single screen. It's crazy. So we'll kind of do these as we uh, continue forward. Like we can go to the, do the missing son in Skellige. Maybe when we go back next time to start, we'll see. Um, but we'll just kind of slowly get through these ones. Wow. All right, this is where we're gonna go ahead and save. Let me save over an old save slot because I have way too many saves. And that's going to be it for today. These are edited and everything up uh, pretty much every single day on YouTube. Um, I don't know if I got one up today, but... Almost every day. <laughs> and... Yeah, okay, my brain is turning into mush, so I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Wrap it on up. Um... But like I said, these are going to be up on YouTube if you're watching there. Thank you so much. Until the next time.